Okay, so we have this example working where we have a printf of our IDC result. We toggling a debug IO every 500 milliseconds and we have followed the steps and instructions involved in the ADCC example and we are going on now to uh, the next version of this. We're going to look at the callback implementation of this example. So what we can see here is that there is a diff. We can see the instructions of what we need to change. And um, so in our ADCC, we need an interrupt. Uh, we need to add a timer. And note that there's a little bit of warning here that we should use an 8-bit timer uh, for this particular example. So under timer, there is a timer example there, and we're going to choose timer 2. Ne to neaten things up, you can always just click this reset horizontal layout, and um, OK. So uh, select any timer. So uh, there's a separate video dealing just with the timer, so I'll go a little quickly with the, the timer. Um, hardware settings enable the timer, that's by default, yes, but it's just good to double check. And <coughs> there's some flexibility here in which settings you change. You can modify the clock prescaler, postscaler, or clock source so that the requested period is less than the max period. So whatever you're requesting here is less than the max period here. And we want it to be 500 milliseconds, so we can start playing with the different options here and setting different values so that we get to a level which is appropriate. And here we are over 500 milliseconds. That's what we need. And we want a timer interrupt. Yes. OK. So uh, you are also check that the timer is a two timer two four or six yes uh, examples folder so these are the same exam uh, instructions as before we know where this file is um, so we can generate. ADCC example and so look at this code here and compare it to our current main.c. So you can see that there's considerably less code in the polled version. And that's one of the main benefits that you get out of the polled version is that you get something really short and simple and you can easily understand it. Um, the code does the same thing in the callbacks version. It's just um, well, it's, it's probably, uh, <laughs> yeah, it just takes a little bit longer to, to get used to and understand exactly what's happening. OK, so now timer 2. Um, and double checking, you can go in and see that this is the timer interface um, where specific functions are being assigned to um, what these are essentially pointers um, in the H file of the interface. Same analog channel as before, analog channel 7. Um, that should be good. You can build. OK, build is successful. So OK, so let's, uh, let's program. And you can see that this example is still running. And all we should see as we actually program is some little bit of a delay. And then the behavior should continue as before. So programming complete, there was some delay there. And um, target device, we can just refresh the target. 
sometimes it wants to be reset turn on DGI um, and okay so uh, some tips and tricks in getting it working um, yeah okay so that is the callbacks implementation of the of a basic printf example